In 1905, Einstein came up with his theory of special relativity. One of the most outstanding and startling predictions from it is that time slows down the faster something travels. As you see an object moving, the clock in that reference frame seems to be slower than the clock in yours. This effect is called time dilation. Unfortunately, in our daily lives, we hardly notice this effect due to the slow pace at which we are moving. So, in order to test time dilation, let's go to CERN to play with an accelerator, fire a beam of protons, remove the electrons using quadruple magnets, and you'll be left with a pure beam of muons. The beam passes through a counting scintillator, a muon filter, and then another scintillator. By testing muons at different momenta, a graph of muon survival against time can be plotted, which should be different than the one in which time dilation is ignored. The difference between them should be due to Lorentz factor. Or should it? But we are not quite finished here. With this setup, we can do the same experiment with the antipartners of the muons, the antimuons, to see whether they follow the same time dilation effect as muons. Any inconsistency between them would be a sign of the standard modeling not being quite right. Maybe there is some underlying asymmetry between particles and antiparticles that goes beyond our knowledge. Who's there? Interrupting physicist. Interrupting. Milan!